Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. Today, in this video lesson, we are going to talk about a problem basing on relative velocity, a concept of vectors. Let us first try identifying what is given in the problem. It is given like this. It is, it is given in the problem that it is raining. It is raining. It is raining. Vertically down at the rate of 20 meter per second. So, before I go ahead, let us uh, discuss this problem piece by piece. Let us try analyzing what he has given in the problem. He has given that rain is down, falling down vertically. Therefore, if I have to represent that, I have to represent this way. This is what velocity of the rain falling vertically down. given as 20 meter per second so you know the upper part of any page is a positive y axis and the lower part is negative y axis so it has to be represented like minus 20 j capital because it's moving towards the negative y axis that's the first part of the problem then he said a, um, a person is running in the rain with a velocity of 5 meter per second and a wind is blowing with a speed of 15 meter per second both from the west so if i imagine the directions if you remember we have done it in the previous problems but anyway for the sake of clarity in this problem also let's analyze this is the generally representation of east this is west this is the representation of north this is the representation of south it is given in the problem that a person is running in the rain with a speed of 5 meter per second. This is velocity of the person. Nothing mentioned means with respect to ground from west. So this is west from west to east. 5 meter per second. Simultaneously there is wind is also blowing. Velocity of the wind with respect to ground is 15 meter per second. So, if you want to see the velocity of the wind with respect to this person, I would like to write velocity of the wind with respect to this person because being both of them are in the same direction, you know, relative velocity means you have to be subtracted. 15 minus 5. That's nothing but equal to 10 meter per second. That's moving from west to east, that is towards the positive x-axis. So its value is nothing but equal to i cap. Now he is asking in the problem with what angle with vertical a person shall hold the umbrella so that he won't get it drenched in the rain. So to get that into the uh, clarity consideration in which direction you have to hold the umbrella is simply in the direction with which the rain is falling with respect to the wind. So I would like to say Umbrella has to be rolled has to be held or hold in a particular direction along which the rain is falling. Obviously you want to protect from the rain along which the rain is falling. Of course, I have to take the velocity of the wind into consideration. Therefore, this is not with respect to the ground, but this is with respect to the rain. So my primary concern is to measure the velocity of the rain with respect to the wind. I would like to write it as velocity of the rain with respect to ground plus velocity of the ground with respect to wind. I told you, I have been telling this, you need to get an intermediate, that is, the very existing intermediate for us, a standard reference is nothing but ground, that has to be get into the consideration. And I would like to say, <coughs> velocity of the rain with respect to ground, as the wind is moving on the ground, not the ground over the wind, I want to write a negative, velocity, negative vector of that, wind with respect to ground minus, is the velocity of the rain with respect to the wind. 
we know the velocity of the rain with respect to ground is given in the problem as 20j minus 20j velocity of the ground wind with respect to the ground taking the person motion also into consideration will become at an i so this is where velocity of the rain with respect to the wind is there so if i have to show it in the graph where it will be it is a minus i cap and minus j cap you know this is where a minus i cap presents exists and this is where a minus j cap exists i would like to say this is the direction which velocity of the rain with respect to the wind is present we shall hold the umbrella with an angle theta this way what is that angle theta is i can write this is nothing but so if i extend this diagram further even if this is theta with the vertical this also becomes theta so i can write tan theta is nothing but equal to this is nothing but the opposite component this is nothing but the adjacent component opposite component is nothing but the i component adjacent component is nothing but the j component so minus 10 by minus 20 that implies tan theta is half so theta equal to tan inverse of half so you shall hold the umbrella at this much angle with the vertical theta equal to tan inverse of half therefore you won't be getting drenched in the rain and your umbrella will protect you from the rain thank you for watching this is the video lecture that we are seeing in the series of anchorsacademy.com you can find lots of further information lots of lessons here in my website anchors academy.com please do visit and comment i like to listen i would like to hear your valuable feedback thank you for watching see you back on sunday